Jake Paul and Mike Perry finally met face to face to seal the deal on their upcoming fight. With Mike Tyson out of the way due to an unexpected medical injury, Mike Perry has decided to wear the shiny armor and finally put Jake Paul onto the canvas. Mike, when you fight next? Hopefully it's uh, Jake Paul. I want to see you smash his ass. Uh, I believe in you, man. Just put in the work. If I fight that guy, bro, I'm going to hurt that little Disney boy if he fights me. Jake Paul isn't waiting until November 15th to step back into the boxing ring. Originally set for a blockbuster showdown with the legendary heavyweight Mike Tyson, Paul has decided to keep the date and will instead face off against the bare-knuckle fighting championship star, Platinum, Mike Perry. This eight-round cruiserweight bout is set to take place at the Amali Arena in Tampa, Florida. The world can't wait for it. Luckily for the fans, you don't have to wait till the fight night to see both fighters go at each other. They already took some personal digs at one another in their face-to-face. -face. Now that for sure got heated. Platinum Perry has always had Paul on his hit list. This guy has never been more ready, and all his savageness came to life as both fighters met face to face. We've never been friends. He's never been cool with me. He wanted to beat me up, and he's a sneaky little snake. And I'm gonna fucking knock the teeth out of his mouth. Fuck him. Fuck you, Jake. I'll beat your ass, bitch. July 20th. Come and see it. Emily Arena, Tampa, Florida. Days in pay per view. Mike Perry's gonna beat the shit out of Jake Paul. What now, bitch? I'm here. This is my chance. This is my opportunity. I've been doing this. You walked in and you skipped the line and you skipped your experience and now it's my turn. I think it's safe to say this fight is more than just a pro bout. With all the bad blood involved, it's gonna be a battle between these two guys. But here's the plot twist. This fight was never supposed to happen. It was originally set to be Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Even though Perry's beef with Jake has been a hot topic for years, Paul kept ducking him until now. He can't run any longer. This showdown is finally happening, and I've got a feeling it won't end well for Jake. Now hear it from the former MMA star Daniel Cormier, who didn't hesitate to favor Mike Perry going into this fight. Can Mike Perry stalk him in the way that he stalks these guys in bare knuckle, and does the damage make Jake Paul start to question himself like he did to Luke Rockhold? What we have learned about Jake is that he possesses enough skills to cause problems for many in the boxing ring. He's going to be bigger than Perry. He's going to have more boxing experience than Perry. But does that equate? If I'm being honest with you, I believe that Mike Perry wins this fight. I think Mike Perry is going to make this fight just ugly enough to beat Jake. But if he doesn't, and if his game plan isn't ideal, he will find himself putting himself in dangerous areas and Jake Paul can crack. Jake may have the size and skills, but Perry's bare knuckle background is going to make this fight a whole different story, one that does not favor Jake Paul. But hey, if there's one thing we've seen from Jake Paul, it's that he always delivers. I mean, we're talking about a guy who not only went up against the likes of Anderson Silva and Nate Diaz, but he also annihilated them. Who knows? Maybe Perry will end up being another victim. I'm in school, Perry! Time to go back to school! But hey, let's not forget that when Jake fought those legends, they were 40 or 50 year olds going up against a young and fresh fighter. Not to mention Mike Tyson, who was fighting Paul, is pushing 60 now. There's an obvious pattern here, and fighting someone like Mike Perry breaks that mold. In their face-off, the energy Perry brought was something Jake had never faced before. I know Mike Tyson says everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face, but I like getting punched in my face. That's because you're a fucking idiot. What makes me good at fighting That's is I don't like getting punched in the face and I practice not to. That's what I'm going to teach you in the sport of boxing, you little bitch. It's funny that you call this fight Fear No Man because you will be terrified on July 20th. What's there to be scared of? You're just a Mike appetizer. A little Mike mozzarella stick just get you right before the main course. Mike Tyson, November 15th. But July 20th, I'm going to show you who your dad is. That's for sure. Now Jake is obviously the better talker, but that won't help him in the ring and you don't have to take my word for it. Joe Rogan believes the last thing you want to do is count Mike Perry out in this fight. Now a guy like Joe certainly knows what he's talking about. Yo, how many people are counting out Mike Perry? Isn't that interesting? I'm not counting Bro, him. it's wild to me. And then in all the comments, like, oh, dude, you must think it's bare knuckle. This is box. And I'm like, oh, you don't know what a f***ing dog Mike Perry is. Yeah, he's a pit bull. You need to do your damn research. Mike There's Perry, no quit. He's a game-bred pit bull. He's going to get in your face for 
all eight of those rounds. And he was like, oh, this is a gimmick fight. I'm like, you're a moron. But you're in the Mike Tyson fight? Get the <laughs> out of here. Yeah, Mike Perry's dangerous. That's a super, the most super dangerous, dangerous fight. When is the Mike Tyson fight? December. It's supposed to be in November. Supposed to be. But that is... <clears throat> Who knows if it's ever going to happen? I mean, Mike has ulcers. He does. He's a fifty-eight-year-old old man, old with man thing ever to get yeah. out of the fight. Oh, Mike! That's Mike like Tyson. a CEO problem. Yeah. yeah, he got on a plane. Yeah, Mike Perry's fighting in July. It's July twentieth. Yeah. Yep. The Mike in Tyson Tampa. fight is in uh, November, in Tampa, Florida, which is like Mike. That's Mike Perry's like. That's his source. Former MMA star and now a pro boxer. Jorge Masvidal also gave his two cents on how this match goes down. Eventually, it's going to be a dog fight, you know. I, I think I can see Jake doing well the first three rounds, but then after that, it's going to start to become more and more of a fight, and he's really going to have to stand there with Mike and I think Mike's more man, more dog at the end of the day. You know, he's going to be able to take a shot and give a better shot, break him down, get in there. He's also going to be able to walk down Jake, I think, at some point, and that's going to cost a lot of energy for Jake if he's backing up, just jabbing, moving, backing up, trying to catch his balance. So I'm leaning towards Perry, definitely. Now that's three for three for Mike Perry. The odds are stacked against Jake Paul, and let's just say Paul's demeanor shows he is not taking this fight seriously at all. Things are not looking too good for the problem child. If Jake is stepping into the ring with Platinum Perry thinking of it as a tune-up fight, make no mistake, Jake Paul will hit the canvas so hard you'll find him back on Disney next. I won't get out of your face. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm in there all night long. You're going to get married to I kind of like that. Yes, I mm -hmm. do, bro. I want to be married. I want to be entangled with you forever. I'll even hit you with a little reach around, brother, if you want that. Right, let's get married, bro. Get up all in my face. And I kind of would like it if you put your notes in my mouth. I'm not even going to lie. Perry now has all the infinity stones to take down Paul, with the last one being Tyrone Woodley a guy who has faced Jake Paul not once, but twice. Now you're probably wondering why Woodley? Woodley is giving Perry insider advice on how to take down the problem child. I'm team Perry, you know what I mean? I like Jake, I like Perry, but I feel like in this fight, the best advice I can give him is be composed and be patient. He knows what it's like to spar Jake. He knows Jake will punch and stick and move. When he fought me, he wasn't trying to walk me down like some of these guys. He was moving around. And I feel like that's the part that Mike Perry has to look out for because he kind of needs to be in hook throwing distance to do damage so he can hit the body, uppercuts, hooks. So if he's that long jab distance, I feel like he needs to learn how to close the gap. Mike Perry's confidence in this fight is scary. He's already thinking about his victory speech. Now, if that doesn't send chills down Paul's spine, then I don't know what will. One thing that came up a lot during their face-to-face -face was their sparring. Yep, this won't be the first time these two throw bangs at each other. Mike sparred with Jake Paul when he was just considered a YouTube boxer. But the way this spar ended has got to be bad news for Mike Perry fans. Usually when it comes to spars, fighters argue about who got the better of whom, like we saw with Tank Davis and Frank Martin. But what if I told you that Mike Perry himself admitted that Paul destroyed him in their sparring session? Yep, you heard that right? Good job, dude. Keep my ass. No, it's good, bro. <laughs> good work. However, this is not the whole truth. Just take a look at Mike's response when he found out their sparring footage reached the social media. I was trying to work with him, and then he wanted to be an asshole to me. So f that. Any time, I'll fight Jake Paul. Any time. He knows what happened last time. He tried to put that video out, and then he stopped talking when I responded, didn't he? I'm the money fight. Everybody knows that anyways. I mean, Jake Paul's a big name. Mike Tyson, you know, I said, I want to be included with the best fighters in, of all time. This is going to be one heck of a fight. Let's be real. We all are itching to see Jake hit the canvas, and Mike Perry may just be the guy to give us what we all want. The fans are buzzing over this epic fight and are sharing their reactions all over social media. So let's take a look at what these boxing enthusiasts are saying. One fan commented, Way more interested in Jake Paul and Platinum Perry. If you have any awareness of what Perry has been doing in bare-knuckle fighting, he's a legitimate threat. Perry poses a real threat to Paul. This fight is a lot more close than it seems on paper.
Another fan commented, Fighting Mike Perry while you wait for a 60-year-old version of Mike Tyson to get healthy is sort of like saying, Hey, I want to adopt a dog, but first I think I'll open my home to a rabid raccoon, just so I can get used to the idea. Another one stated, Not to jinx anything, but what if Mike Perry's power doesn't translate as well in boxing gloves? So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.